Kentucky playing its final game here at Memorial Coliseum this year. They'll be undergoing a lot of renovations. It'll look much different last year. Kentucky wearing their black uniforms today, and obviously the Lady Vols in their traditional orange. Kyra Elsey telling her team, just give me 40 minutes and let's go 1-0. Sell out to win this game. So let's see what Kentucky comes up with today against the Lady Vols. And the first shot of the game is up and in by Striplin. It's the Kentucky lineup. Uh, missing today will be Kennedy Cambridge, who is, continues uh, to be out with an illness. So no Cambridge today. And when you look at the lineup, both teams, you know, obviously you just said it, Sam, wanting to get back into the win column. Kentucky's been struggling this year. We both talked a little bit about it early. What you see in the record is not a reflection of what this team is capable of doing. And for Kyra Elsey, who took this team to the SEC championship last year, it has been a year of resiliency. They've had to battle through adversity, but it is uh, really allowed to this program to show loyalty and uh, really get a lot closer than they may have been without the adversity. Uh, definitely, and you mentioned one of the players being out tonight, but it is resiliency is the key, is the word of the year for this season. Players in and out, a lot of different com uh, opponents, of course, and just trying to figure out ways to get back in together. Good hustle there by Jada Walker. Kelly Harper in her fourth season as the Tennessee head coach has gotten Tennessee back to the top of the game and Ironically, the two head coaches were teammates at Tennessee, along with my partner, Tamika Catchings. A lot of storylines involving the Lady Vols and coaches today, as, as well as analysts, Tamika. <laughs> and we love it. Shear with the ball now, former Kentucky Miss Basketball. What an addition she's been to this team this year. Shows up all over the stat sheet. Her first shot, though, is off the mark and continues. There's been 50 years of history in this building. The building is uh, going to stand. In fact, the court is not going anywhere. They're just renovating it. There's a steal by Horston in the dish inside for the layup to Jackson. And with that assist, and now Horston back to back to Mika has just entered the top 10 on the all time assist list for Tennessee. And almost yet another turnover. Jordan Walker coming into the front court. Kentucky struggling to get it over. Rebounded by Jackson. What a start for Tennessee. This well, is Walker. Enough, you look at the game on Thursday against South Carolina. In the first quarter, Tennessee was leading the way against the Gamecocks. The Rakia Jackson get to the free throw line. Nice little jump shot. But South Carolina... In that South Carolina game, Tennessee was up in that first quarter. South Carolina, obviously, we know how dominant they've been, able to take the lead. And the first bucket of the game for Tennessee belongs to Maddie Shear. Tennessee in transition. This is Walker and Walker, coast to coast with the score. There's press right here, giving Kentucky a lot of trouble. Jordan Horston takes it in, nice and easy. So I know one of the plans for Kentucky, you got to figure out a way to get her in scoring position and get her an easy look. Benton was guarding Jackson, too, on the defensive end. There's that first shot, Tamika, and it's nothing but net for Robin Benton. And maybe sometimes you just take a moment. Hollingshed in the game goes up strong. Great finish. Jillian Hollingshed has really shined. I feel like in the last couple of games, the last month and a half for Tennessee, she stepped up. Tamari Key, obviously a player that went out in December. We haven't had a chance to see what's going on with her. But, you know, Hollingshed has stepped up big time. Good news uh, about Tamari Key. She is back uh, to working out now, doing a lot of cardio. Tennessee Jeez. has just dominated this opening quarter. Now they have eight assists right now for 10 made field goals, 10 for 14 shooting. So 
sharing, not only making baskets, but sharing the ball really well. It was an excellent first quarter for Tennessee against South Carolina last Thursday as well. They led by as many as 10 in that first quarter. It's Powell inbounding it now. Hodges going one on one against Petty and sticks it in. Colin Shed now with a couple of buckets, four points. And she's an interesting player as you watch her. And, you know, she started her career at Georgia, got to Tennessee, and, you know, even having a conversation. I love it going down low at EAA and a still score. Jada Walker, Kentucky coming alive. It's a long two off the mark by Puckett, but the offensive rebound is grabbed by Powell. Or you look at the zone right now, 2-3 zone, a little bit of a 3-2 matchup. Kentucky trying to figure out ways to make it a little easier. A turnover charge to Hollingshed, a Tennessee so effective in this opening quarter. 11 of 17 now. Horston broke into the top 10 in Tennessee history and assists very early. Got back-to-back -back assists. Good steal by Benton. Benton, she'll shoot the three. And offensive rebound by Walker. I love the heart that we're seeing from Kentucky right now. The last couple of possessions, keeping it alive around the basket. Those 50-50 balls, and Jada Walker finishes the play. Kentucky showing some life now. And there's a steal by Shear. Shear misses the basket pushing the ball up the floor a 91 percent free throw shooter this year i bring that up because it's just so exceptional she's only missed six free throws the entire season so kentucky fighting back here puck it over to passat and save back to kentucky Oh, this, has been a, this has been a different Kentucky team as of late. Came out of that timeout, and Robin Benton knocks it down. See the momentum shifting. Kentucky only down by eight. Holling Shed tries to quiet the crowd and puts Tennessee up by ten as we're about to run out the first quarter. Walker's three off the mark. For the short amount of time that she was on the floor, she sparked the energy for this Wildcat team. They came to life, Robin Benton got involved. It seems like every single player just picked it up on the defensive intensity. Three on the way from Darby off the mark and another chance for Kentucky. They trailed by eight just before the end of the quarter. And Benton will reset things here. And this is one thing they wanted to do against Tennessee, make Tennessee play defense. And Benton fires successfully from above the free throw line. Well, controlling the pace of the game is really important for Kentucky. Limit the amount of time that Tennessee has the ball. Darby. Darby. Kentucky trying to eat into the lead and successful is Jada Walker. Well, I think they're getting so wide open coming off of those screens. You got to take what the defense gives you too, and sometimes you got to take those open looks rather than trying to pass the shot up, and then you get a you have to take a tougher shot. And I think really getting ready for today's game, and you have one more opportunity in the SEC regular season play. How do you want to go out? How do you want to lead into? And Aja Petty back on the floor, great. Finished down low, took her time, didn't rush it. Petty so instrumental in that first quarter and a foul inside. Sheer on the floor, an energy player for sure. Missouri and Baton Rouge squaring off against LSU. Also be checking that out throughout the week and next weekend on SEC Network. And we got a different matchup you look to Tennessee switching one to four Robin Benton takes it to the basket 
And Benton now with nine points. Four of five shooting. Stripling pushes the lead back out to ten. Taking it to the basket again. Benton with the finish. Now Benton putting this team on her back right now. She's got 11 of Kentucky's 25 points. Her final appearance here in Memorial. We got a lot of people here watching and Robin Benton, senior night, you want to go out with a bang. Being able to tie the score, sheer wide open. This is a two in and out. And that's the look right there. Maddie Shear reads the defense going under, step back. And Jordan, 4-3, Walker. Yeah, Jordan Walker, who's only a 26% three-point shooter this year, made that look easy, her first three of the game. Walker's going to push it up for Tennessee. Yeah, I like seeing that battle down low at the AA Holly Shed and puck it out on Nice little pass. Powell doing some work with the ball. Rifles the pass to Hollingshed. And Hollingshed gets a nice little pass to the basket. Shear missed her last shot. Goes inside this time and banks it in. As soon as she caught the ball on the sideline, you could see the fire in her eyes. She was going to the basket. Yeah, she is so much fun to watch. Such a competitor. Holling Shed. Shot clock down to 10. Shot clock really hasn't been a factor today for either team. And that is nice by Powell. Tennessee has responded every time Kentucky's made a threat. Benton draws the foul, will go to the line. Benton with 11 points today. Ben's made such an impact on this program. Well, I definitely. I mean, you look at the last couple of seasons, but I mean, Kyrie Elson, she said when we talked to her yesterday, they don't win an SEC conference tournament last season without Robin Benton. Jackson in one. So Rekia Jackson, uh, soon to be a top 10 WNBA lottery pick, makes that free throw. And look at Tennessee. They got a couple of them on there. Jordan Horston also looking to be one of those top ten. And between the two of those players, they have put this team on their back and just done a phenomenal job, job all season long. But with all the history in this Tennessee program, those two have been history makers this year for Tennessee. They are on a lot of top ten lists and have done some things that very few Lady Balls have done. Jackson can't get the entry pass. Holland Shed sits with two, and Franklin is in the game. Final seconds of the half. Shear will put up one final shot for Kentucky and off the mark. So, Tennessee. You know, the two combined are 11 of 19 so far in this game. Stripling, also a player worth mentioning in that first half, had 10 points. So Tennessee with two double-digit scores in the first half. And right away on the drive is Jada Walker scoring to open the second half. Jackson going to work against Shear. Created some space and scores. Confidence. Rakia Jackson playing with so much confidence. Walker pulls it back out, goes inside, Striplin, and Striplin scores now with 12 points. Oh, one of the keys of the game, get the ball down low in the paint. That's where Kentucky or Tennessee, excuse me, wants to get those points and the assist. Something that Coach Harper talked a lot about. Yeah, Stripling with 11 against South Carolina, now 12 today against Kentucky. Benton got a little opening. Missed the shot. That's a rare miss from her. Horston pushing it. Wide open inside was Walker. Excellent pass by Horston. Wow. Player coaching tree. 
in women's college basketball right now. That's going to be a, a jump ball. He felt like in the South Carolina game, they weren't being tough and they allowed a lot of those balls to go. And Kentucky almost had a steal. Robin Benton yeah. comes up, but not able to finish it. Fortunate. Jackson going to take it herself. No problem. That's what Rakia does. And that transition game, you trying to get in front of her, it's going to be hard, but Maddie Shear. But I think Forced the thing in. about it is she's been consistent with it, and right there, just on the board over Jada Walker. But Rakia Jackson just so good. Benton looking for an opening, good D by Horston. Shear picks up her dribble. This is out of AA. Knocked away. And straight down the lane, no one guarded her, Amaya Jenkins. There's just been so many different upsets, even as of late. So the biggest thing you can do for yourself as a team is win. You just got to win games. Jackson left open, and that's automatic. So now six straight 20-plus point games for Rakia Jackson, as she now has 21 points. Tennessee's lead has grown throughout this third quarter. And now another steal. Powell, easy bucket, 59-34 right now. They do you think, did not. Do you think Tennessee's playing their best basketball right now of the season? I mean, I, I think it's hard to really say, and that's a great drive right there. Maddie Shear, South Carolina, we saw it in the second half. We saw it again in the third. Green, one of those seniors honored. Uh, of course, we've, we've talked a lot about this year, engaged to men's basketball player C.J. Frederick. Horston against Benton. Uh, Benton did a good job, but gets called for the foul. Horston again uh, popping up on a lot of those uh, top 10 draft boards. Makes the free throw coming off the double double against South Carolina. She had 14 points and 11 rebounds today. Has not been as much of a scoring threat, but has four steals just shy of her career high. Look into Hollingshed and she recovers it. Horston to Jackson, low. and one. Franklin doing a great job posting up, but look at this pass. Jordan Horston sees Franklin, takes it up strong. Going to be another foul on Eddie Yeye, but I love point in the paint and emphasis for Tennessee, and they continue to get the ball low. I like Sheer backs. backs up, shoots. Both coaches going to their bench here. 2.30 left in the third quarter. And a blocking foul on Thomas. And a sophomore from Richmond, Texas. And a reminder not to go anywhere today because later on we have our Final game of the day, Angel Reese and number five LSU will be taking on Mississippi State. That could be an excellent game. Coverage begins in Baton Rouge at 6 Eastern. And now I'm going to be watching that one. Oh, yeah. And Howling Shed, great job on the board. Tried to get the ball up, but they call three seconds. Three seconds. So that's going to yeah. be a turnover. I just love watching players develop. That probably... One of the things I love the most about this job is seeing players from their freshman year all the way to their senior year and beyond. And Holland Shed, having watched her the last couple of years, to see her grow and to see how she has changed, even in the course from the beginning of the season to where she is now, uh, is a testament to the coaching staff and what they've been able to do to develop that fire in her. But she's just been playing so well. A lot of upside for Holland Shed. She's just a sophomore. Benton had made the free throw. Benton, two of three from the line today, 13 points. 
And now 14. Uh, Kentucky, Kentucky looking to put the full court press on. Tennessee's got to hurry and they finally break it. Nice take and one. Jordan Walker. And it'll put Jordan Walker on the free throw line. Walker, another one of those outstanding students working on her second master's degree. The steal by Tennessee and a foul on Shear. Uh, Tennessee will get the ball off of that. Shorter attempt. A good, solid possession. Lynn was running the point for Tennessee there. Holly Shed now has it. Good look inside. Puck it. Puts it in. First basket of the game for Puckett. A couple of rebounds and a steal assist as well. Green with Hollingshed on her. Gets rid of it to Shear. And uh, Shear fouled by Puckett. Three of three today. Now four of four. It's been so embraced by this Kentucky fan base. There's just so much pride in the, the players from Kentucky uh, playing for University of Kentucky. Drives to the basket as her teammate does. She's got to stay out there, stay spaced, be ready to knock down that shot. Kentucky looks like they're going to play for one. Walker. So that will end the third quarter. Just all around in, in all of the conferences. And uh, keep in mind, too, some of the teams that are seated toward the bottom of the SEC are still in the hunt for WNIT bids if they don't win the SEC tournament. So keeping that record above 500, very important as well. Out of AA. Has it stripped away? Green had to launch it. Three on the shot clock. Good denial defense by Robin Benton. Didn't get the steal, but broke up the play. Brooklyn Miles into the game, a zero for Tennessee. In the bottom left of your screen, this is Jackson with the ball. One of her rare misses today. And Darby thought she had it, but is out of bounds? I like seeing the offensive rebounds right there. Coach Harper said, we send four players to the offensive board to try to give us an opportunity to get some second chance points in Kentucky. I haven't been able to do a good job with that. Nice pass up to Horston from Jackson. And Horston easily lays that in. Sheer. Oh, nice. Good ball movement. Confident. That was her first made three. 16 points for Sheer. Leading Kentucky in scoring. And now another turnover. Eventually leads to greatness. Well, definitely. And Kentucky, this isn't the first time that they've been through this. I mean, we talked to Coach Elsie, and she said, we went through a period of time, and I remember that a few years back. Matter Shear, another jump shot. But you have to have those resilient moments. You have to have those players that believe in what you're doing and what you're trying to build. And, you know, I think when you look at what they have, they are going to bounce back. Darby that was Darby's three. second three. Shear. Well, Shear is red hot here in the fourth quarter. No game plan right now. Get the ball in Maddie Shear's hand. Let her go. Let her create. And another still Jada Walker's hand. Shear has the ball. Finally missed out of Yeye with the offensive rebound and stick back and draws the foul as well. So Kentucky showing some life here. Well, Kentucky is not going to stop grinding. Yet when you watch the way they play, they have the talent, they have the pieces. I think that they can have to be successful down the road. It's just a matter of, you know, a, a couple of tweaks here and there. Out of Yeye completes the three-point play. And she's got five points now, along with eight rebounds. 
A nice pass from Miles. Yeah, foul was on Robin Benton, and that is her fourth foul. Benton with 14 points today. I don't think Robin Benton's going to come out of the game anytime soon. It's her last game playing at Memorial Coliseum, and we want to play all the way to the last buzzer. Walker on the drive, misses the shot, horse and grabs the rebound. Steal by Walker. Walker against Miles. And Miles wins that exchange, and then Addy Aye with the bump foul. And that may do it. Addy Aye is going to foul out of the game. Young woman, uh, Coach Elsie, uh, very complimentary of her and the way she does things and conducts herself is now uh, leaving the floor for the final time. Good look inside. Miles couldn't hang on to it. Just over five to play here in Tennessee. We'll be going to the Vanderbilt at Auburn game after this game eventually. Brenda Van Ling and Holly Warlick, another former Lady Ball all-time great, going to be calling that for you. And then we'll end the day with the LSU Mississippi State game. We are going to is, is the funniest part. And I know I'm in Indianapolis, so Indiana is right around the corner. Uh, <laughs> you, you never know where I'm going to end up. You, you make it a plug to stay in, in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Benton puts in the second free throw. Yeah, that is something that I think people would be entertained, just how all the texting going on. Yeah, and last year they got a chance to host. It was a very, very fun tournament. Kia Jackson off the mark. Shear goes to the paint to save it. Shear. Good look into Petty. Petty was open. I don't think she realized it. Here's Walker. Walker stuck. Petty again doesn't draw the foul. And I think that's off of Tennessee. 21 point lead for Tennessee. Shear on the drive, and Shear's had a very good second half. Now with 22 points. Game plan, game plan, game plan. Get the ball in Maddie Shear's hand as long as she's on the court. Green got the rebound and was fouled from behind by Posada, who had just missed that. Posada, again, one of those freshmen that has so much upside. Very highly rated recruit coming into Tennessee this year. She has had too many elite players ahead of her. You know, I think games like this. Ooh, Matt Shear! <laughs> oh my goodness. She's on fire. Second three for Shear. 25 points now. 9 of 20 shooting, but she's been deadly here in the second half. Hollingshad is showing some range. I like watching both of these players, but Maddie Shear, hey, she's trying to make things happen. Feeling it. Maddie Shear, she is just an instant highlight film. It, your eye is drawn to her every time you watch Kentucky play, not just for her shooting, but she is just instant energy. She never stops moving. Well, and she makes plays happen on the offensive end, on the defensive end. You know, offensively, you've seen a Howling Shed. So Howling Shed goes back to the free throw line, one for two from the line to the six of seven shooting. 13 points for Howling Shed and gets her miss. Adding those stats. Got to get the ball down low. Howling Shed with Jasmine Walker, or Jada Walker on her. Not a kick, and the ball is going to stay on this side of the court. All these teams will be descending on Greenville, South Carolina, in a couple of days. That's a foul called uh, Howling Shed. Benton, 16 points today. The quadruple header will be over, and we'll have three and a half hours of recap of this weekend's SEC Indoor Track and Field Championships. Again, that's coming your way. 
tonight at 8 Eastern on the SEC Network and the ESPN app after the Mississippi State LSU game. Passat runs that down from Hollingshed. Under two minutes to play here in Lexington. Oh, good hustle by Puckett. Shot clock at two. Hollingshed! It's not a three, but that is deep for her. I love it. And just recognizing the shot clock winding down. Stepped up 15 points right now for Hollingshed. Good pass up the floor and Benton. Wow, right there. Wayne goes up. Robin Benton gets called for the foul. That's going to be her fifth foul. So she will head to the bench and a really hard foul. So Benton leaving this uh, court for the final time with 17 points. Robin Benton, just such a joy to watch play. And these fans won't get to see her anymore here at Memorial, but she'll be in action next week in Greenville. Free throw missed by Wynn. Uh, Wynn right now 0 for 3 from the free throw line. And you're right about Robin Benton. Uh -oh player that we've loved to watch really focused on her defense I feel like earlier in her career and then getting more into the offensive threat but it's been fun to, to watch her but look at this <laughs> trying to show a little flex on the way out well she knew she had fouled out so how much more trouble could she get in, you know? <laughs> she went out with a flare I love it Walker Only one way to do it <laughs> Yeah, Benton is uh, affectionately called the showtime and primetime, depending on who it is talking. Coach has one nickname for her, everybody else has the other. But I think regardless, they both mean the same thing. And Jada Walker <laughs> almost with another steal. She's getting her MBA, though. Just an absolutely brilliant student. Miles lobs it out. Under a minute to play, so... Tennessee is going to go into the SEC tournament with some momentum. And so Sam Tennessee Peter will go ahead. Going, going into the SEC conference tournament with some momentum. That was important for Tennessee, especially coming off a Thursday game, have a game like this. And I think defensively is where they have really improved tonight. Points in the paint, of course, as well. But that defense that they started off with was great. Kentucky uh, empties the bench. Here's Jenkins with the miss. Passat grabs the rebound. So under 30 seconds to play in this final regular season game for both teams. Tennessee will go into the tournament as the number three seed. Kentucky will be the number 14 seed. Tennessee has the double bye next week. And that is good. One final shot made by Jasmine Franklin. And the regular season is over for.